Probably sit on the floor and s send it as a video. How much they offer for that? That's crazy. A couple thousand dollars. We we're on that side of TikTok again, just in case y'all were wondering. <laughs> but by my math, I can make four thousand dollars a day for sure. <laughs> About twice a week, I can make six thousand dollars a day and never send the same video twice. Just so y'all know. If y'all think I won't quit this blue collar shit and go home and shit in the floor for a living and send people videos of it, y'all crazy. I will be on the next thing smoking back to the house. Yes, sir. And if I can get some contact information and the payment's clear in about the next 15 minutes, I can make your dreams come true tonight. And I will be that much closer to entrepreneurship, just so y'all are aware. Whew. Y'all be careful and learn something today. You got to control your freakiness, man. Some of y'all out there just... Yeah, you know, I done had a lot of weird ass requests since I've been doing YouTube, bro. I had a homie that, that wanted me to send pictures of my foot, and he was going to pay me and like that. It was a dude that wanted... Nigga said he would pay me to have a threesome with me and his wife. Then, like, it was another... This is a female... She wanted to have a threesome with me and my wife. And she was willing to throw bread up, too. She was she was older, too. She was, like, in her 40s. It's a lot, son. I done got DMs of, like, grown-ass women, like, pleasuring themselves. Folk, since I've been doing YouTube, I done had a lot of interesting things. I'm going to be real with you. I done had a lot of interesting things. So, it's not far-fetched to me that somebody's paying her to send videos of her doodle. The internet is a, is a weird place, man. Every man who says he doesn't want a bad bitch is a liar. They all want bad bitch. They just can't pull bad bitch because they don't understand what bad bitch actually want. And I'm going to tell you because I think it's cool for you to have a bad bitch. And I think it's cool for a bad bitch to have a guy who knows what a bad bitch expects of him and actually upholds those expectations. Right? It's a one-win situation. So listen. Bad are high maintenance you just have to know that if you don't want a high maintenance woman then this conversation is not even for you just scroll scroll okay we're talking about high maintenance we're talking about lashes done makeup done hair done nails done uh toes done waxes or laser at the bare minimum eyebrows upper lip you know maybe facials here and there but you know a spa day whatever but that's what bad expects so the second you try to bring up how much maintenance her lashes are or how her nails don't need to be so fancy or how she doesn't have to spend all her money on new clothes, just know that bad easily lost interest in you because you're trying to change so? her right away before you even have her, which is just not a good sign, okay? So again, if you're going to try to insult her appearance or you want her to change how she looks or dim herself down for you, then she's not for you, all right? Okay, on to the next point. Don't demean yourself either. Don't be like, oh, I'm not worthy of you. Oh, you're too bad for me. Like, you know, here and there as a confidence boost is cool. But if you're constantly talking down on yourself and reminding the bad that you don't deserve to be with her, then why would she stay with you? Why would she stay with you? Because what differentiates a bad from a non-bad is probably the only thing she gonna say that I agree with. Don't ever put yourself down for anybody, whether it be a woman or a man. You know what I'm saying? I'm guilty of that. I'm a people pleaser. And, like, the things I do is I, I dim myself down or I dumb myself down to kind of make people around me feel comfortable. You feel what I'm saying? So that's the only thing I, I, she probably is going to say that I would agree with. Do not dumb yourself down for anybody. It's the girl who says... Oh, no, don't worry, honey. You're so fantastic. And the girl who says, Ew, why are you even thinking about yourself like that? Why would you even say that? That's real. Okay? So, that's two. And lastly, just know that it's not all about the money. Because the bad already has the money to uphold herself and her image. That's why she's a bad bitch without you. Okay? So, if you're going to enter her life, be prepared to add more than just money. Okay? Be prepared to add... Um, comfort, be prepared to add a safe space for her to express her feelings, 
be prepared to support her trying on new things for you, trying on new hairstyles, new makeup, if she's a content creator, doesn't matter, even if she's not a content creator, if she wants to take pictures for Instagram, you take those pictures for her, support that bad bitch, because that's how she's going to stay with you, otherwise, she's going to leave you, like, like I left my ex, and now he has to cry and watch his bad bitch make TikToks on TikTok, make videos on TikTok, I'm too high, I'm going to go to Whole Foods now, bye. Yo, this video made my head hurt, bro. I'm for y'all. <laughs> I watched this whole thing, but this video made my head hurt. First off, she sounded like she used to take the short bus to school. Secondly, man, everything she described sounds like a liability and not an asset. If you out here trying to date, obviously you don't want a bad. Because a bad bitch is a liability. It's not an asset. What she describes sound like an expensive ass car. A lot of times the, the women you get are used cars. You got to make sure you're getting something that's certified pre-owned. Now in this situation, bro, what she described it sound like a expensive ass car that is high maintenance. For example, if you get a Ferrari, a Ferrari to change the brakes is probably about $20,000. In, in my situation, right, those of y'all who've been on the channel, I had a Camry. I could drive about three weeks in that Camry without changing my gas. And it got to a point where like, I was so used to how good the car was on gas that I would forget that I needed to put gas in my car. Now, that's a great car to have. I got rid of my Camry and I got me a, a, um, a Challenger. Now I got the Challenger because it's a nice looking car. It's a bad bitch. I get a lot of attention because of that car. I pull up in any parking lot, the first thing is gonna be like, oh, damn, she nice. I heard that before. Damn, she nice. She sound good, oh my God. I gotta fill my tank every three days. I put $50 in my tank every three days, bro. If I had that Camry, that $50 will probably last me a week and a half. Damn near two weeks. So what I got now is a depreciating asset. And that's what a bad bitch is. She adds no value to your life except to be there and look good. All she does is look pretty. She might, she might, you know what I'm saying? Give you, you know, it might be good. I'm trying not to say too much because YouTube has been de demonetizing my videos. But you, you understand what I'm saying? Get you a woman that's going to maintain her value, bro. Get you a woman that's going to add value to your life. That's why I like that pod, Fresh and Fit. That's why they can run circles around these women with the conversation that they be having. Because they're bad bitches. They're dumb. Any woman that considers herself a bad bitch is an idiot. Okay, what's the craziest thing you girls have done? Craziest thing that I've ever done? I'll go on the theme of like relationships was... Um broke into my uh, now ex's phone yeah. and completely, um, what is it called whenever you like, back to reset? No, I like permanently deleted his Snapchat and it had like all of his pictures of his dead ex girlfriend, but it was all nudes and sex videos yeah. and I was, and he uh, wouldn't delete, he refused to delete it. So yeah. I went, I went on while, yeah. while he was asleep and got it permanently deleted. Everything. No, yeah. That's probably like the craziest thing. Yeah. Like crazy girlfriend type stuff. I don't know how to feel about that. On the one hand, he shouldn't be carrying videos of his um, ex, you know, nudes. But on the other hand, was she wrong? Well, of course she's wrong for going through his stuff. But at the same time, damn. I'm, I'm undecided about that, to be honest with you. I am very undecided about that. Who are you today? Izzy Glow. Where are you from? I'm from the Bronx, New York. From the Bronx? What you doing out today? I'm just chilling, vibing, you know, drinking. Vibing, vibing at school. Yo, <clears throat> I've lived in New York half of my life. I think I've only been to the Bronx once. I don't know how New York is now, but when I was growing up in New York, bro, it was one of those, like, if you don't know that particular area, you just don't go down there. If you're not from around here, you don't come around here. That's, that was the rules, and I believe that was the rules all throughout New York. So if you was in Brooklyn, you just stayed in your part of Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? You didn't even really venture out in Brooklyn like that. Because there's still parts of Brooklyn that I don't know about. And now I'm looking at these, some of these videos, I'm like, damn, bro, my teenage years, I would have been going crazy in the Bronx. <laughs> Excited because he was cute. Thank you. You got a boyfriend? I do. Nice. Boyfriend? How about you? Boyfriend for you. 
A year now? A year now? Okay, yeah. Okay. It's been a year. Do you love your boyfriend? OD. You love your boyfriend? OD. What you love about him? What's one thing you love about him? He got three legs. <laughs> <laughs> Explain to me what does that mean? Nah. TP, TP. What that mean? What is TP? TP. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Is that like New York slang or something? Yeah. That's some yeah, okay. new, that's some new, new York stuff. I don't know what that means. Can you do like a 360 for me? My boyfriend wouldn't like that. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. We don't care. Hey, green flag, green flag. She passed the first test. You feel me? Okay, okay. You might be loyal, you know what I'm saying? So basically what you're doing today is a loyalty test. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I want to know if you had a boy best friend. I do. You do? You got a boy best friend? How long you had a boy best friend for? A couple months a now. A couple months. So you know your... Your boyfriend cool with you having a boy best friend? Word, wait, what? Yeah, he knows, he knows. You, yeah. know you got a boy best friend? Yeah, he knows, he knows. Why yeah. you get a boy best friend if you got a boyfriend? Because so that's a good ass question but usually girls be knowing the boy best friend first before they know the boyfriend this nah mm -mm. Mm -mm. because he's like mad cool you know not that many guys are cool and he's like the coolest that don't make sense bro come on they so, don't i was like yeah you know. boyfriend not cool my boyfriend is cool but he's like a friend like i don't see him like that at all you don't see him like that see i never did nothing together no. So y'all never like kiss, slept together, anything like that? No. You sure? Cap. I don't look at him like that. All right, babe. Because today I want you to call your boy best friend and be like, you trying to come over and Netflix and chill. And see if he passed. For what? What you mean for what? Well, I don't have to, to see do if you're loyal to your boyfriend. I just want to see if you're loyal. You say you're loyal, so you might as well do it. You ain't got nothing to hide. You don't find that suspicious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I think that's weird, though. Yeah. Why am I calling my boy best friend to ask him that? He He's going to think I'm weird. All right, let's see if he think that. Let's see. Call him. I want to see. You had a suspect right now. If I'm you, not you, acting suspect. You I are. think you're in my business. I'm not I don't trying. Like that. I, was, I don't know. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Turn That's fine. Turn it up. Right Bro, you got to chill because you're doing too much. Help. Hello? Yo, bestie. Hello? So what you got going on? Um, okay. See, I want to come over and Netflix and I want to come over and shit. And, you know, like, Netflix and show whatever the f***. Right now? Yeah, right now. She's like, uh, you know, I'll be waiting on this shit. <laughs> what, you what you mean? What you mean what I mean? What do you mean by that? Like, what do you mean? Like, what, you know... I've been waiting for you to come back. I missed what we did last time. What y'all do? What y'all do? What you mean last time? Bro, I don't know. Bro, I don't know what you're talking about. What y'all like, do? Ask them. Say, what we do? What do we do? What do we do? What? So I went in there from the bed. We have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray. Oh, shit. Bro, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> man, what's up? Man, stop playing, man. You coming away. Bro, you're bugging out. Like, are you lit or something? So it's like, you know I got a boyfriend. You know I have a boyfriend. You know that. Man, you know what I said about him last Damn. Oh, damn. I ain't trying to get none of that. Oh. Oh, oh snap. Hey, chill, bro. Like, stop putting my... Bro, come on, bro. Be fucking smart, please. Nah. Come on, try to spit in your fucking ass, bro. Oh. Yo, no. he's, he's chatting. I think he's lit. He's drunk for sure. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. No, no, no. Just... My best friend gets drunk all the time. I think he's just mistaken. Nah, he talking he's like mistaken. he didn't do that. He is. Before. How are you gonna tell me he's mistaken? You don't know my best friend. That's my best friend. I ain't do nothing with him. I'm loyal to my man. That's my man. My man. My man. You're loyal. I'm loyal to my man. All so right, don't so... come over here trying to interview me and tell me what I do to my man. That's my man. All right, look, look, look. What's what's you acting guilty for the road that you drive on. The streets. I don't know what you talking about? The, the road streets. You drive on outside. What else do you call it? The streets. You trying to be smart right now and call yeah. it the streets? You for the streets. I'm not for the, for streets. the streets. That's tough. We are. She for the block. <laughs> my man, my man. Like the fuck out of here. Yeah, let me tell you something, man. Hispanic women, I've never seen nobody get in a relationship with a Hispanic female and be the same afterwards. We having PTSD, son, dealing with these Hispanic women. That's real.